name on Twitter is at DigitalkBan. And yes, I'm an online community, community manager at Microsoft. And uh, my background is I have a master's of digital media. Uh, very rare, so um, that was quite fun. So uh, earlier, I uh, raised my hand and I asked a question. I said, well, how do you grow your forum? How do you engage your forum? If you just have a new forum, it's raw, what are you going to do? Um, and so I hope to answer some of those questions right now. I'm the type of person that doesn't like to spend a lot of money. Um, for me, I'm thinking under $1,000 is a good ad budget. I'm not talking about Microsoft. I'm talking about my own. <laughs> yeah. so don't think that Microsoft could spend $1,000. We spend much more. Um, so uh, one thing, one thing. how many people here have a Twitter? I, I wasn't here earlier when Brian asked that. Does everyone here have a Twitter? Does everyone here on Facebook? Yeah? Good, good. OK, so let's, let's get into this here. OK, so I was kind of thinking, you know, what, what is a social tool? So we've got Hootsuite, we've got TweetDeck, we've got Tweet, CoTweet. I mean, these are tools, but they're not really going to help me grow my community, right? They're going to help me manage my content and the things that I'm putting out there. Um, they're not going to help me find the users that I want to be finding and, and targeting. So, so I was just kind of, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to bring up scubadiverlife.com. So scubadiverlife.com is a new website that I started. And I pretty much blew, uh, grew it from social media, from Facebook, from Twitter. So these, these are tool, tool, two tools I want to concentrate on today. Um, so the first thing is, is I want to ask everyone in the audience is, do you guys know how to find someone on Twitter who has the word Microsoft in their bio? Does anyone know how to do that? You do? What would you use to do that? Up to Google. Google? Okay. In their bio? In, the, in their Twitter bio? bio? Yes? Sprout Social. Sprout Social. So you can search bio information? It's not complete, but it does something. Oh, it's not complete. OK. So that's great. I'm, I'm glad to know that a few people know what those tools are. Um, I wanted to show you guys, uh, and I wanted to go in depth into it. I wanted to show you first Tweet Adder. So what is Tweet Adder? Tweet Adder, Tweet Adder allows you to search users' profiles data on Twitter. You can search a user's location with, along with a keyword. You can follow users of uh, followers. So you can follow my followers or you can follow the people I'm following. Um, you can also export your results. You can automate uh, your follows, which you know is, you know, some people will say, Nadia, that's kind of sketchy. I don't want to automate my follows, but you know, that's that's up to you. If you don't want to, if you want to sit there and you know follow 500 people, that's your decision. And then we have content autom automation, which I'm not a fan of, and that's you know automatic DMs, automatic replies. Hey, thanks for following me. You know, a minute after you follow them, that doesn't, you know, that's not very personal, and you kind of sometimes lose people when you do that. So I kind of wanted to show you Tweet Adder. This is such a fantastic tool, and I, I'm going to rave about it because I, I don't know a lot of other tools that can do this for you out there. So you might have a forum out there. You, it might be about race cars. It might be about scuba diving. It could be a product that you're trying to you know put out there. Maybe it's a Bluetooth uh, device. Here, you can go into Twitter, and you can put in uh, your terms of search. So you, here, you can put in a keyword, a location, recency of the tweet, and the language, We're, you know, we don't really usually do that. So you can go in here and say, hey, I want, a, I want uh, someone who said Microsoft in the location Redmond, and I want it to be in the last five days. And that's going to pull it up for me. And I can't really do that anywhere else in the world. And that's really valuable for me, because now I can follow people who are talking about Microsoft. So you can see here, this is the application. It's only $50 for one license. And I really, really do think that you should uh, try it out. I actually have my really close friend Mike Whitmore at Mike Whitmore, and I um, have a lunch with him weekly. And he's a social media guru himself. And I said, Mike, you got to try Tweet Adder. You got to try it. Oh no, Nadia, I don't want to try it. It's too sketchy for me. I don't want to try it. Next lunch, Mike, have you tried Tweet Adder yet? No, Nadia, I told you. I told you you don't want to do it. I'm like, Mike, do I need to buy you a license for you to try it? He's like, No, no. <coughs> okay. Next lunch, Nadia, I got Tweet Adder. What? Why didn't I listen to you? I don't understand why. I can't believe it. I was growing 10, 20 people a day, and now I'm growing 100, 200 people a day. And it's all because of Tweet Adder. So kind of go in here. You can look at it. You can do you know, the location search and all the things I had just mentioned previously. So here we can see that you, know, you uh, put in my keywords, Microsoft, put in Redmond. I want people with minimum of 100 followers. Um, here I go. So here are all the people, right? I want these people because I work at Microsoft, and I live in Redmond. So I want to know who all these people are. I want to know what they're doing, what networking events they're going to. So now I'm able to pull them up. And so, you know, last time I talked about this, someone said, someone said to me, Nadia, I don't want to auto-follow. So there's the option to export here on the bottom right. You can export that list into a CSV file. 
you know, uh, give that to whoever is working for you and trying to grow your Twitter for you. Or you can sit there and put twitter.com slash digitalk down and follow them. But you know, that's why I think the automation process is really great. You want to be careful with it. You want to make sure that you're having, you know, a good delay in seconds between your follows. The software allows you to do that. You can say, I want to follow this, this list right now, and I want a delay of two seconds in between my follows. You want to do that because you want to just kind of be careful with the Twitter API. But now I'm pulling lists of people who I'm interested in. I can grow them um, by, sorry, by Twitter, lo by location, by information in the profile data, and the things I was talking about earlier. So again, you can see here, you can export on the right, um, and then you can just check the list and save it in a queue, and pretty much run it in the background when you're working on your stuff all day. So now you've, you've followed 200 people in a day, um, you know, 50 of those people have already followed you back. You can do the automated DMs and replies, but I really am not a big fan of that, so I won't advocate for that. Um, but, now, but, but now it's great, and this is something I used for scubadiverlife.com. I said, okay, well, I've got my Facebook, I've got my Twitter, I'm starting raw, you know. How am I gonna grow this? How am I gonna get people to engage in my forum? How am I gonna get them to upload media? So what I did is I said, hey, I wanna find all those people who have mentioned scuba diving. I wanna find all the people with the word patty in their profile. Why? Because these are, tar these are people who I'm targeting who are interested in what I'm building. And I'm gonna grab them and I'm gonna, I'm gonna make some really awesome stuff for them. So here you can see, you know, again, the location, keyword, Twitter user, you can do lists. So, you know, sometimes you find a list on Twitter, you're like, oh, this is such an awesome list. You know, follow the list, right? I don't want to follow the list. I want to follow everyone in the list. So I can talk to them, I can DM them, but I'm not going to sit there and, and, and do 500 follows in a day. I've got much more important things to do. You know, I got to go to lunch, I got to go do this, I got to do that. I don't want to spend five, five hours following people. So, this is just a great tool, I think, for doing that and, and really grabbing grabbing people in. So what you can do then is you know go here on the screen. I got I got really in depth to this. Say follow 300 people, you know, you want to keep your ratio at a certain, you know, one to two kind of ratio. And then you can unfollow. So maybe I set I usually set mine at three days. After three days, I want to unfollow the people who have not followed me back. Why? Because I don't want I don't want big numbers. I don't want to be following twenty thousand people and having only one thousand follow me. That kind of looks weird. It doesn't doesn't what I want. So I'm gonna unfollow them with this software and it's only going to unfollow the people that the software's uh, followed. So you don't risk unfollowing anyone that you've already followed in Twitter. So and then there's the things here on the left, you've got the tweets, you can generate tweets automatically from an RSS feed and stuff like that. Thank you message, again, not a big fan, I mean unless you're getting thousands and thousands of people a day <coughs> to send that message out, that might be the way you want to do it. But you know, at 100, 200 people a day, I'm just gonna think, you know, here, there, here. Uh, so that's actually really funny. So um, you know, Mike sat down and he said, Nadia, I'm really, I'm really glad that I started using TweetAdder. I actually have met some really cool people because what he started doing is he put in the hashtags for the conferences he was going to: blog world, forum and communities, uh, social media marketing, Las Vegas. So he started putting those in. So. It's easy, you know, for, especially for something like South by Southwest. You put pound South by Southwest. You're going to put everyone who's talking about South by Southwest in there. I'm going to follow all those people and be like, hey, you guys going to be at South by Southwest? Come check out, come check us out. Check what we're doing over here. We're going to get this booth, right? I know you're going to be there because you're talking about it. And if you're not going to be there, you're interested in it because you use the hashtag, right? So, um, yeah, I kind of wanted to go back to building a community from scratch. I thought this was really interesting because um, I have been dabbling with social media for so long, and this kind of scuba diving site just came out of nowhere, and it's, it's, it's just become really successful. And so I didn't really spend any money grabbing people from Twitter, but I did build my Twitter. It's in a 1,000 something right now, but it's building every day. And I can go, hey, you know, you're interested in scuba diving, check out scubadiverlife.com. This is going to be interesting to you. Come check this out. We have our community, community.scubadiverlife.com. <coughs> So this is kind of, that was kind of building the base on Twitter.